Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I am again, uh, I woke up at odd hours because my sleeping pattern is kind of messed up. But uh, I am up, I'm having my trusted tea. No lemon though, no lemon, no uh, oranges. It's just honey and tea. So I decided to do two reviews for you today. Uh, both designer fragrances, one is female, one is male fragrance, okay? Perhaps I'll do a morning thoughts episode, okay? Uh, just sharing a few things, you know, general life talk and stuff like that. Some people like that. So that's just I share with you as a human being to another human being. Hopefully you're doing good. Uh, so we're talking about, uh, first of all, ladies first. You know, I like to talk about uh, fragrances from both sides. So this is basically Pakuraban fragrance, as you can tell from the title of the video. It's going to be Pakuraban Olympia Blossom. I don't remember exactly when it was released. I'll put the year. But this is relatively a new release in Bangladesh, okay? And this fragrance is, belongs to one of the very popular line called Olympia. And if you do not know, Olympia basically is a flanker to, uh, not flanker, the female counterpart of Invictus. This is another Invictus legend, this is another flanker. So these are like sort of like a pear, sweet, bubble gummy, uh, strong, long lasting perfumes for uh, both genders. And this line is very, very, uh, both these lines are very successful in Pakuraban. So we'll talk about it. This is a. Uh, nine sorry 80 ml bottle the biggest bottle size i think is 80 ml and there are smaller bottles at 30 50 i guess and the fragrance is edp floral and i never seen that classification before so it's edp basically but also a floral perfume that's what they're indicating nice little packaging okay this is my friend's bottle i'm borrowing from her thank you so much my dear friend for lending me your bottle and they've got these nice wings as usual like angels okay uh if you know miranda Kerr, Kerr, uh the model Okay, Victoria's Secret or what's what's her? I think Victoria's Secret model with the wings. You know, this reminds this line reminds me of her, and then this pink is really girly, and has this other florals. Uh, you know, nice painting. It looks like nice artwork. This is Olympia. Uh, I love the name Olympia. Olympia is awesome name. Blossom. At the back, some more artwork, and basically you get Pakuraban uh, signature or what you call that that logo here. So when you buy these, you know, always check out the presentation because these are faked a lot. Uh, the bottle here is really lovely. I actually had a lot of Olympia bottles, but over time they finished or I sold them off. So I have one more original Olympia. I'll show you in a bit. Uh, this is the bottle. It looks like sort of like a clock. Okay. And it looks like a pendant. I don't know what you call that. That one you wear is a necklace. It's a big pendant sort of thing. Uh, and then this is base, very tiny little base. I don't like these because it sits on very small uh, base. So if you knock it off or if you just a little bit knock, it might fall and break. The bag got that design. Of florals it says the name the side i think this is plastic or glass or if it's plastic i don't know but if it's basically like a stick on with the bottle uh, if this is uh, cut and curved very nice the cap looks like that really nice and the uh, atomizer works fine basically you get your sticker and all that so let's spray this somewhere and we talk about it okay so where are my papers okay let's try these okay yeah, the blotters are here. Let's show you the spray and talk about it. Let that settle down. As it settles down, let me go pause the video quickly and then uh, I'll get my original Olympia bottle. This one clicks onto place, I think. Yeah, it clicks onto place. Not very heavy cap. Hold on. Let me get that Olympia. Yeah, I was telling you about Olympia. This is my vintage bottle. Very long time back I bought this. I have a little bit of juice left. This is the Olympia. And as you can tell, the bottle style is different. Juice car is very dark. Okay, and this basically has bigger, I think, base compared to this one. This is round. This is, uh, I think, almost square or whatever. Uh, this one, basically, uh, if you take off the cap, you see this style back in the days. This is the way they made this bottle. Now, Olympia basically has changed the bottle. Okay, so uh, it has been evolving for some years and we are here today. In the meantime, check out my other Olympia reviews. I have Olympia Intense. I think there's one Aqua. I haven't done the Aqua one. Uh, and then they had um, Olympia Legend. I, I forgot the names. So there are many others. So they are all basically sweet, loud, at this salty accord, which this one also has. But with the evolving nowadays, they are trying something new. This is a fruity floral for me. Okay, a uh, lot of fruits in this black currant. I think there is a sorbet note, and there are some other notes, some of the fruits. Pear, you know, it gives that vibe of fruity very typical of nowadays very popular notes and then got the rose got some other florals man when you smell this it's just heavenly you know whatever the notes forget about the notes this smells like sweet it smells 
light sweet it smells like gourmand fruity if you know poison girl this is like similar uh, ballpark similar family if you like that good girl by Karen Herrera uh, decadence not decadence sorry uh, La Vie Belle you know if you love those perfumes it's gonna be right up your alley extremely long lasting I don't know like the EDP concentration they do mean business and then that little salty aquatic touch it will come very last stage which is funny usually salt is somewhere up there in the top note but I think this is a perfect fragrance if you do love Dior Joy if you do love uh, uh, there's another one from Dior line um, I don't remember the name quite but Miss Dior Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet if you love those lines this is gonna be very very favorite of yours okay uh, the bottle personally I feel it's very nice but it looks like a little bit uh, what do you call like light-hearted you know the juice color is mild pink right if I show you against the wall yeah this one feels like a little bit like uh, summer you know like uh, not so heavy like the original Olympia which is much darker I think this basically is too much for summer that one is 12 hours plus this one I got about eight hours okay for a summer from summer perfume wearing on my shirt and I tested it on my skin and shirt shirt it lasts longer so the thing is performance very good very very good I would say 9 out of 10 for summer perfume this is very long lasting but it offers a little bit of sweetness so the florals and the fruits the dominant notes are fruity notes over rose rose is there you know like definitely if you like label you know the rose in there is very well done but this is not a rose based or rose like dominant rather okay it's not that uh, basically you will get uh, what you get from those other ones that I mentioned it's a sexy clubbing movie dating hang out with your friends could be a signature scent people smell this on you they go gaga because they will smell you and they will compliment you this is a compliment kind of sort of perfume and it's the best thing this is not as loud as the other Olympia if you did not like those but you can still like it okay it's very nice deviation so I really like it overall I think presentation is fantastic prices are high okay prices are on these are about $80 uh, but look for a deal if you can get this within like let's say $60 it would be a good purchase but mind you this 80 ml bottle so it's not 100 ml right that's sometimes a bit painful but overall I really like this fragrance I think Olympia Blossom I think is one of the nicer release from their line and I overall give this a 9 out of 10 okay thank you very much for watching try it out and see if it works for you it really 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 uh the special the black currant and the, the fruity notes really make it uplifting it reminds me a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh perfume de marley's delina ah there you go i think got some little vanilla as well at the base but uh, if you like delina this is very very close to that without uh, that much powdery vanilla effect okay it's less but the smell is very close to that one okay so if you like perfume de delina this could be a good replacement for it uh, and for a budget alternative great fragrance take care i'll see you soon bye, -bye.